When you first turn on the radio, it will be in a split screen, analog, VHF and UHF sections. For convenience, we're going to make it a single display radio by pressing and holding the main jaw button. And for this video, we want to look at the digital functions within the radio, so we're going to push and hold the DR button. We've now gone to a split screen display with a from and to. From being the repeater you're going to use and to being where you're going to connect to. So we press the DR button and then press the center button. We'll be presented with a sub list of three options, a repeater list, near repeaters and TX history. If we select the repeater list, we'll be presented with some options and in the anniversary version you will get both the analog and digital repeaters for the UK and there's also a selection of the repeaters throughout the world that you can connect to. We're going to select the digital section. We're going to select the repeater that we're going to use. So if we use the knob on the top of the radio, we can go down and select one of the icon repeaters at Hearn Bay. You're now seeing the from section, uh, Hearn Bay 439450, which is GB7 IC port B. If we now go and press the C, the RXCS button, it highlights the top section of the display. And now if we press the center button, we can either select to use the local repeaters, a reflector or connect to another repeater. If we select the local uh, CQ, 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 we will only come out of the local repeater. We will not be connected to the gateway or come out of any other repeaters that are connected via the gateway. If we press the button again, go down to gateway CQ, you'll see that we have now a UK digital list which we can select. And if we go down the list, we can select a repeater to connect to. I'll connect Folkestone. Now we're going to go out on Herne Bay, but we'll not only come out on the local repeater, we will also come out on the repeater at Folkestone. So that's a direct connection between two repeaters. If we press the RXCS button again and press the center button, we can go down and connect to a reflector. If we go to link to reflector, direct input, we can select the reflector we want to connect to. So if we wanted to go for six and we press the CS button, I select the center button, we see the top half of the display now says link to reflector REF 00 AL, L being link. If we now transmit on the radio through the local repeater, we will connect the local repeater to reflector 6A. We only have to connect the repeater once. So once you've had the notification back from the repeater that it's connected, press the center button, press reflector and go to use reflector. And now when you use the repeater, it will come out of the reflector that you are connected to. Once you finish using the reflector, you can unlink the reflector by again using the, the radio once. That will send a command to the uh, gateway network to unlink the reflector and the repeater will send you a notification to say that it is unlinked. You also have a near repeater list and once you have a GPS fix within the radio, if you go to the near repeaters, you have both analog and digital in the anniversary version of the 
51. We we'll select the all. It will now go and search the database that's in the radio for your nearest repeaters to the to your location. So you can see that we both have analog and digital here. This one's got FM at the end, so that will be an analog repeater. We'll select the Herm Bay repeater again, and there you can see we've managed to put the Herm Bay repeater in the bottom section of the display.